What is up guys? Welcome to a brand new Pokemon Sun and Moon News Alert. Today we're going to be talking about the most recent trailers, the Japanese one and the English one, because they're both very, very different and presented some different information, so let's get right into it. So for this first image, the really important part comes later on in the video, but basically all I want you guys to note right now is that he's wearing a black cap, blue and white shirt, and red and black pants. In this next screenshot, we see that the new region is called Alola, and it's definitely an homage to Aloha because the region is based off of Hawaii. And if you look at the environment around the main character, you'll see that it's very exotic, very vibrant. There's a lot of different colors. There's a lot of water. There's a lot of different cliff sides and everything. There's a volcano. It looks really cool and definitely reminds me of Hawaii. So they did a very, very good job in that aspect. Next up, we're going to talk about the starters. First up, we have Rolette, which is basically one of my favorite starters of all time. Definitely my favorite out of the three. I think it's fantastic. The design is just absolutely adorable, and I just really like the idea of a grass flying type starter. I think that that's really unique, and it definitely isn't anything that we've seen before, so I'm very, very excited for it. Next up, you have Litten, the fire type starter. Definitely a very cool design overall. There are a lot of people spending speculating on the types that it could be in addition to fire type when it evolves. I'm not really going to comment on that. I just hope that it's not the same type of thing that we got with Delphox where it started out really promising and then Bregson was pretty promising as well. Then we got Delphox. So that was just like a train wreck. So hopefully I didn't just offend anyone because I know it's pretty universally hated and hopefully we don't get something like that in this game too. I really like Litten overall, just its design, its name, and what it could end up being. So hopefully they don't mess it up. Next up, we have the water type starter, Popplio, which is absolutely the strangest starter I've ever seen. It doesn't really look like much of anything, maybe like a clown mixed with a seal. I've been calling it the ugly seal Pokemon. I know a lot of you guys like Popplio, but you're definitely not a majority, let's be real. Overall, it just looks weird. I'm not sure what it's going to end up being. I'm hoping that its future evolutions kind of redeem the starter because it's a really, really strange look overall. Moving on through the first trailer, we did see our main character running through some tribal areas and a mountain kind of area as well. It was a pretty cool visual, and I do like the aesthetic that the whole island seems to have. Next up, I do have to point out that the city that they showed off was really, really cool. I like the skyscraper. I like the seafaring aspect to the town. You do see like a pier with a really big building off to the side. I just like the whole look of it. So in the next portion of the video, we do see a small montage of your character running through a bunch of different areas. And then you come across this. It seems almost like there are tribal battles of some sort held here. There's like nice little white designs on top of the platform and... Overall, it really reminds me of the Battle Coliseum, which I think is the name of it from Emerald from the Battle Frontier. I think that that's probably going to serve a similar purpose. There's probably going to be some sort of battles there, and I really like the look of it. This next picture shows what's most likely going to end up being your rival. There's not a whole lot to say other than that. So overall, I really do have to say that I like the legendaries quite a lot. I think that both of their designs are really, really cool and definitely display the sun and moon aspect of each design very, very well. And then we finally get the date of release, which is going to be November 18th, 2016. Very, very hyped to share more information when we get it, guys. But this is just really, really cool. So let's move on into the next trailer. So the Japanese trailer definitely didn't show off as many aspects of gameplay as the US trailer and the European trailer, but it did show off some very interesting things that I do want to comment on. So in the first picture we're going to be talking about, we do see your professor waving to you inside of a little window with a little background, and then there are some little icons off to the side. Definitely looks a lot like a handheld computer of some sort. Probably going to work a lot like the PokéNav did, in which you can do just a bunch of different normal gameplay functions in it. Uh, we have like a recording function of some sort, probably going to be recording battles. Uh, we have like a picture function, so you can take pictures of stuff, I would assume. We have a settings function, and then there's also the closing function, the minimize and the maximize function for the actual window that's open. And it looks like your professor's almost video chatting you, so I really want to see more of this. Again, if you look in the top right corner of this character customization picture, you're going to see that there is a close button, a maximize button, and a minimize button. Definitely think that that is going to be a consistent theme. Very, very excited 
excited to see how they actually implement that into the rest of the game. Next up, we have a map of the actual Alola region, which I definitely don't think is going to be the only region in this game. I do think there are going to be quite a few different regions or maybe a main region with a bunch of different islands off of it. I feel like the whole island travel system is going to be very, very big in some way in this game because... I mean, honestly, that's the allure of Hawaii, that's the allure of other island areas, is that you can be on your own little island and then you can go to other islands and experience completely different things. So I really, really like that idea. And also, if you take a look near the bottom of this map, you'll see that there are two separate islands that are sort of boxed in by some rocks, which definitely lends itself to thinking that there are going to be multiple islands you can travel to. Obviously, none of that was confirmed in either trailer, I do just think pretty strongly that there is going going to be some sort of island travel because honestly why would you put it on Hawaii if you couldn't travel between islands that just really wouldn't make sense then we get a picture of this kid playing the game I have to say by the way that I really enjoyed the little story that they told while they were advertising Pokemon Sun and Moon just have to throw that out there now if you take a look at this picture you're probably going to remember near the start of the video when I was talking about the blue and white shirt and the black and red pants and the black hat well the main character in this portion of the video anyways doesn't have a black hat on and if you actually go ahead and look at some of the screenshots I took they have a black and white shirt on at some points they always have the black hat on in the US trailer but they actually do seem to change shirts so this definitely lends itself to the theory that we are going to have heavy customization of characters whether that be hats or shirts or pants or shorts or anything like that I definitely think there's going to be very heavy customization in the game the face when you make the right choice but guys that is going to be about it for this video I am super super hyped for Sun and Moon I'm super hyped for Pokemon Go as well as you guys know I've been making videos for months on that topic but this is definitely something I really wanted to cover if you want to see more Sun and Moon coverage in the future please let me know in the comment section below I'm probably going to do it anyways because there probably aren't going to be as many leaks and as many things to cover as far as Pokemon Go is concerned until the app actually is released but right now there's a whole lot of hype around Sun and Moon and I did want to get this video out because I do have some thoughts on it that people really haven't been talking about but guys I hope you have a fantastic day and I hope to see you back here for the next Pokemon Sun and Moon news alert until next time guys peace